A very good day to you. It's Dave Thackeray here from talknology.org and I wanted to talk to you today about Google's new addition to Gmail. That is the Compose feature. So it got me in a bit of a tizzy when I started off because there were a few things that I felt were missing. It was faster. It's a great way of being able to check out your list of emails, your email river while you're typing something if you want to refer back. But also I thought there were a few little quirks of the system that I later found out was not the case. Now having just adjusted to Windows 8 maybe my head is just mashed anyway but let's focus straight in to what I'm talking about. So as you'll know when you get asked if you want to move to the new Compose experience you click yes great everything's fabulous it's a bit like a party in your head and then the problem starts. So what I'm going to do to you now is to show you the Compose feature in full flight. So I'm going to click on Compose and on the bottom right hand corner you see the box appear. This is the area where you will now compose your emails. All very good. I can write an email to myself, Dave at wordandmouth.com, which I'm going to do because that's one of my old email addresses, which is great. And I'm going to tab down to subjects. So I want to talk to myself about uh, the great new Google Compose feature, which is wonderful. Now I'm going to start, and now I'm suddenly thinking, hang on. How do I change the email address from which I'm sending? this email. Now as you know with Gmail you're able to add numerous different accounts. Gmail lets you take email from all of your different web domains. So for example I've got email coming in here from thepodcastguy.com and wordandmouth.com. Ultimately it also lets you send emails on those email addresses that are reserved for those domains. So I can also send email via Gmail from Dave at the podcast guy dot com or Dave at wordandmouth.com, which I think you'll agree is pretty neat. But here, to all intents and purposes, I can't see a way of changing the native email address from which I'm going to be sending this email. And I was looking around, I was thinking, is it down here? No, it's not down here. Where is it? Well, actually, you have to tab back or just click into the line that tells you who you are sending it to, which is somewhat confusing. So I'm going to click in here where it says to Dave Thackeray. And then you'll see straight away over here, CC, BCC, from. Those are the three major functions when it comes to sending, defining exactly who you're going to send it to and who you're sending it from. So if I click from, I'll then get a choice here of the drop down menu of all of my email addresses and who I want to send this email from. Very useful to know that. OK, so I've clicked all that stuff. Now I want to add a list of items. And again, I'm not so sure where all my bullet points are hidden. Well, they are kind of hidden and they're hidden right down here next door to send. So if you click on the formatting options button, you'll then see all of the stuff that you get by default in the past when you compose emails using Gmail. So here I'm just going to click on bullet list and say yes, this is a list. Fantastic. And get that sent. Right, so that should appear at some point soon in my sent box. However, what I want to show you now is just to finish off by saying, OK, I've sent an email, I've received an email back, but I don't want to confuse the original recipient by sending another email back using the same subject line. And that sounds a bit complicated, so I'm going to show you now in graphical form exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to go over to an email that I received here from WordPress with my backup from the Podcast Guy website. Now obviously I'm not going to send this, but I can illustrate to you exactly what I mean. So I want to reply to the sender and change the Podcast Guy Please Moderate New to Podcasting to I Disagree. And again, how do you do this? It's not clear from the get-go how you do it. Well, there's an arrow up here. Makes things a lot easier. And what you want to do is start separate conversation new subject to send a new subject line in the same email thread. Click on that. Comes back to the usual compose area. Change read the podcast guide to uh, here. this here is the new subject line. I'd hit send and that would then be gone with the new subject line involved. Just a few quick tips there for the new Compose feature from Gmail. This is Dave Thackeray from talknology.org. Get in touch with me, tweet Dave Thackeray or get in touch Dave at talknology.org if you've got any questions about.